Hi, I'm Hai Junxia, an assistant professor of the Creativity Lab at the University of California, San Diego. Let's talk about cross power. Imagine if you are making a tutorial video or a presentation about photography, and you want to start by saying, today I will talk about three key elements of photography, subject, lighting, and composition. Let's begin with the subject. To add visuals for this script, you might want to show images of subject, lighting, and composition one by one, and add a zoom in animation for the begin with transition. To create these simple graphics, you will need to find the images online, copy them to the editor, resize and crop them to the same size, align them, create an appear animation for each of the images, and create a zoom in animation to match begin with. Well, in this tedious process, we took effort to make sure the graphics and animation correspond to the elements in the script, because such correspondence can increase engagement and facilitate comprehension. It also demonstrates an opportunity of leveraging structures and content in the language to facilitate the creation of the graphics, rather than requiring tedious low-level editing operations. Embedded in these sentences are the rich linguistic structures, including syntactic, semantic, and co-reference structures, which can be leveraged by cross-power. For example, when you hover the mouse cursor over the text, suitable structures are suggested. We can scroll the mouse wheel to browse the associated structures. Here, I select this syntactic conjunction structure, and cross-power will automatically provide a graphic template for these elements. However, the natural language processing toolkit made an error and extracted the photography as an element of the conjunction. I can simply remove it from the structure and the corresponding graphics will be adjusted accordingly. CrossPower uses the text in the language as queries to search images online. However, the returned images are not ideal as the terms were too general. To fix this, I can drag and drop the word photography from the script to use it as an additional keyword. I can also select different images from the search results and make some quick adjustments. Next, to add a transitional effect indicated by begin with, I can simply click on the structure and a zoom in effect will be automatically added. However, this effect creates a new image rather than applying the effect to the existing subject image. And this is because the NLP toolkit failed to recognize the co-reference relationship between the two subjects. But I can create a co-reference structure to adjust how the effect is applied. And to further improve it, I also want to add zoom out animations to the other images. Instead of using the co-reference structure, I can connect the conjunction structure with the begin with structure, and the zoom out effect is added to the other images. These interactions are possible because there is a language-driven grammar between the linguistics and the graphics, which specifies the graphical representation of the semantics. Using the previous structure as an input, the begin with grammar separates the mission element from the rest and applies different graphic effects based on the semantics. Here's another example. To visually explain the concept that lighting and composition are the foundation of photography, I can click on the conjunction structure to add a visuals to the canvas. I can switch the representation of the graphics and use text instead of images. Similarly, I can use text boxes to easily represent the foundation effect. Connecting the previous conjunction structure with the foundation effect creates a morphing animation. For more interaction techniques of cross power, please read our paper. CrossPower currently operates on a small set of predefined linguistic graphic templates. To fully unleash the ex expressiveness of CrossPower, we need a large scale linguistic graphic dictionary, which can be achieved by extracting linguistic and graphic mappings from videos that contain high quality visual effects. Another future direction is to apply such language oriented interaction to other scenarios to facilitate the content creation, communication, and collaboration. Thank you.